uh, that spot where they went through the cage, it was a wow factor for me, but it wasn't uh-huh. until replay that I really processed Kenny Omega was, um, quite literally risking his manhood on that spot. No. Yeah. He almost got his nuts cut. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know that you know this, but did you know that X-Pac once tore his asshole doing a Bronco buster? I think I do know that, uh, because the reason I think I know that is usually when guys have a, a crazy injury like that, like, you know, whacking off a nut or, or ripping an asshole, you'll bring it up many times on our show. So well, I'm just saying that. like, you know, w- there's been rumor and innuendo that Rick rude, you know, had uh, ding dong problems at the end of his life. Maybe he lost it. And and yeah. I was thinking, golly, man, I don't know that Whew. shout out to Kenny Omega. I hope he's okay down there. Did you go check him out immediately after you mean, as far as say uh, spread your legs, let me see what it looks like. Well, I thought as soon as I saw that spot, I just imagined as soon as the show was over, you threw the headsets off, pedaled those little feet back, say, dee, dee, dee. And then say, Kenny, Kenny, I'll take a look. I didn't say, Kenny, Kenny, I'll take a look. I said, Kenny, Kenny, are you okay? Mox, right. are you okay? Because they did something that, that I've never seen. Of course, obviously you, uh, you've you seen it. And maybe wrestling fans have seen it. but I, And I've seen light tubes. I've never seen anybody come up with a bag of glass. I've seen them come up with a bag of tacks. But never with a bag of glass and... That's that's really dangerous because that shit can get embedded in your back. Yeah, and you may have to have like have a cutout. So, I was concerned about both of them really. And I and I always do this. I, I mentioned that uh, when 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 guys do crazy stuff, I'll always go thank them for a great show for yes. risking their health and their body to give us a great show because that's what they do. Absolutely. There, there's no way. I mean, you can you can. <clears throat> You can work on uh, different spots in the ring, but when it comes to uh, furniture or glass or tacks or steel, you, you kind of really never know what's going to happen. That's right. You, you really do. You you can't prepare for it. So that's why uh, that's why I said that. 